What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Cube Draft here on magicthegathering.com slash uk dot ru. And, and, it feels like, I, I was just getting, I was just starting to say that, like, even though we, we're not, uh, we're not winning, we're not 3 0 these cues. <clears throat> and the last one was a 1 2. I still feel like we're learning things, and I like that we're trying things. And that's always been a part of the stream. Like, if you guys were in the YouTube comments being like, why don't you just take this or this or this? Why don't you do this? Why don't you take this? Um, the reason is because we like trying different things, and we do that at the cost of winning sometimes. So, that's our life. I feel like we already, I feel like we did Super Friends pretty recently. Like, we just took all the Planeswalkers very, very recently, like two days ago. I mean, if we can open, like, a Grey Merchant or a Phyrexian Obliterator, I could probably be convinced to go Mono Black. But, uh, again, if you guys want to uh, <clears throat> slam those like and subscribe buttons if you're watching on YouTube and anywhere you're watching, if you want new undies that are super comfortable, and I say undies because it's in the name, or uh, anything, really, onesies, lounge pants, socks, or tees, you can check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. You'll get 15% off free shipping and free returns. And uh, it helps me out and it helps you out. So if you're looking for those things anyway, definitely check it out. It's a great idea. Holidays are coming up. You can get some sweet onesies for gifts. And uh, they're actually pretty cool. They sent me one. <clears throat> Draft Mono White, play something without the Soul Titan. Well, I could do that. But that's basically like saying, hey, can you play something without soul? And uh, it is also hard to judge the deck when always dealing with mana issues. I agree with that as well. So, uh, you know, MTG to go, I, I would imagine, has fewer mana issues than, say, me. So, but, you know, you never know. Seven out of eight. One time. Come on. We did it. Karn, huh? Karn's good for mono black, right? Could also take Philidar Guardian. <clears throat> try to hit that Sahili. I thought the last deck was an easy 2-1 as well. Uh, we had Kiki Jiki combo, which we did win with. And uh, we, like, we had just a lot of the good cards. We had Torrential Gear Hulk, Snapcaster Rage, Cryptic Command, and Consecrated Sphinx. And uh, we had a lot of the good cards in that archetype. But alas... You know, and then there were some some decks like there were some matches like where it was like a literally a top deck war, and we just drew three or four lands off the top. Love about YouTube videos. We never caught you live. Just wanted to get into the hi, <laughs> draw new. <laughs> That's actually a great a great spelling as well. Glad, glad you can make the live video, buddy. Congrats, you are now immortalized in whichever YouTube video this ends up in. <clears throat> Ultimate price or Erebos? I think if we're so here's the thing, the Erebos is definitely at a table, the ultimate price probably isn't. And I'm locking myself into Mono Black, specifically for old old Elk T Matthew Elk Tears Riley over here. So just gonna take the ultimate price. I agree with the I agree with the the assessment of Amit. Um I played it and it was actually fine. Uh I think Staff of Infinite is actually a a great top end for your for your mono black deck, and there's also three different black creatures that could come back. Three different black cards, rather. Hex Mage, two pips. Well, we don't have we don't have Grey Merchant yet. Like a lot of things have to come together, right? But the the good thing is the things that have to come together are very low priority. For... <laughs> oh. Damn boy, he's thick. Boy, that's a thick ass boy. Damn. Ba -ba! Worth noting, also the only black card in the set or in the pack. So, uh, so there we have it, boys. There we have it. Can we get some Pikachu memes up in the up in the chat, guys? <clears throat> oh, you know what other card I love in Mono Black Devotion? Or Mono Black, I guess? A Night Veil Spectre, and I'm pretty sure this Graveyard Marshal will come back. Well, Elk Tears, you know what I you know what I like, right? I like a nice wide body. <laughs> I 
Una is black. I, I think Night Vale Spectre is better on the curve, though. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to gum things up with a bunch of six drops. So. Oh, is that a massacre room I see? I think I like that better than Underworld Connections. Yeah, this guy wins games. And it's three more pips, boy. Give me them. If we don't get Grey Merchant, I'm going to be real upset. Theoretically, like, no one's going to... If you don't have a Blitter, like, there's no reason to take a Grey Merchant. It should, it should pass right by us. If someone's taken that Grey Merchant, they have no soul. And they're literally just hating it from someone who would who, who would need it more. I like Immortal Sun, but... Especially because we're probably not going to have that many Planeswalkers. But I also like Fatal Push. And I think Staff of Nin does a good Immortal Sun impression. I think Fatal Push is a little more <clears throat> versatile here. Not versatile, necessary is what I mean. I want to take Midnight Reaper because that guy's good. Nighthawk. I barely know Hawk. Her, what that doesn't make any sense. Uh, I, I've I've actually been kind of not impressed, but like satisfied with Amateur Turtle in my decks. It's a five-five for three. It's hard to deal with. Like you're attacking for three or four at least, and then it resets a lot. Um, that being said, I'm still not going to take it over a Nighthawk. <clears throat> oh, and the Erebos did come back, just as we predicted, which is likely going to be online. Hexmage also came back, just like we figured it might. Four white cards in this pack. It's pretty insane. I'm going to take the Face Fetters in case we want to splash it. Maybe the Marsh Flats come back, but I doubt it. Graveyard Marshal also came back. However, I might want the, console, the Sky Console flagship here. We don't have any five drops, which is nice. And this also gives us a nice way to deal with Planeswalkers, which we might not have. But then again, we are black, so we probably will have it. Uh, this deck looks pretty sweet so far. And we have three white cards in the sideboard. That's pretty comical. Oh, I love a Hero's Downfall, but I love the potential of a Hypnotic Spectre even better. Hmm. Also, batter skill not terrible. It does make a germ, which is a black creature with zero pips. Keep that in mind. <clears throat> <clears throat> I will take a. I'm gonna take the hypnotic spectre. I I I don't think hypnotic spectre is coming back at all. I agree with the hero's downfall because we need removal, but I don't think it's coming back. And you can take that to the bank. Because you just took Hero's Downfall, I'm definitely taking Bloodline Keeper. This is a creature you have to deal with. I thought the germ was wide! <laughs> Whip of Erebos. Oh, baby. I was getting excited about this Blood Gas, which will likely table. And I'm going to take this Whip of Erebos. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Ancient Stirring, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. <clears throat> Although, unfortunately, I do think you're a menace in modern. Come on, Gary. You're the perfect... You, you're going to make this this curve just perfect. Oh, you're actually helpful, too. I think it's Obnixilis over Gonti. If it was the Vintage Cube, I'd definitely take Gonti, but I think Obnixilis is, is just better in this cube. Especially because we do want some Planeswalkers. Wow, and then you get a pack with, like, nothing. That's really sad. Oh, that's really sad. I think we're going to take Forsake because we have the highest chance of splashing a white card. Oh, that hurt. You'll be alright. Oh, you can also cycle it for colorless. Hmm. Solid strategy. In case we don't hit, in case we only have 22 cards. Also, I love Vampire and Hex Mage as another answer for Planeswalkers. Oh, that's a that's a nice beefy boy. Oh, biscuits! <laughs> oh, biscuits! <clears throat> um, 
I almost like find finality as. I almost like find finality as just a way to get two creatures back. And if we do get like a just a green land, we can splash off of it. Eh, Isereth. It's actually pretty good. We're just getting all the black cards, which is actually just fine. <clears throat> Hypnotic Spectre did Welcome come back? back wow that is amazing my god my words were marked poorly I feel bad now I feel bad now Blood gas came back to the surprise of no one. All right, so the next pack has to have... <clears throat> it has to have our boy in it. I'll take Overrun just in case because we have to find finality here. Tarmogoyf's actually fine in this cube. Surprisingly fine. This is the most white sideboard ever. Look at this thing. old red <clears throat> that's a good one crux of fate because it'll be decent but we don't, we actually have a lot of uh i'm trying to trying to direct someone to where they can find the freshly brewed brewed podcast um i have to make sure they're still popping up on stitcher they are that's pretty sweet <clears throat> They're like, where can I find it? I'm like, my Twitter, Ollie's Twitter, my personal Facebook page, my public Facebook page, Stitcher, iTunes, or here. And I'm just going to link it to them. Because, like, not being able to find it seems mm, pretty low effort, but I don't know. Like, I can't tell. I could be wrong. It could be hard to find. I actually don't know. I don't want to I don't want to assume that. <clears throat> but, uh... Maybe it is just... Actually, I'm just going to take the sword. I think that's a good... I think it's a valid point. Gives you some nice... Uh, I don't know what that was. Reassurance? I don't know. I'm going to take this Noxious Gear Hulk, though. Because that guy is a sizable threat. Pack Rat for the Mono Black deck. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm on board. I'm on board with it. Gray Merchant, where the hell are you at, bro? No one could have taken a Gray Merchant. Scrap Heap Scrounger. Guy's fine. I, I, I would love to take this Soren and just splash it, but... <clears throat> Giraffe's Messenger? Oh, the pips are so real, but it's only relevant for stupid Gary. Also, I don't think I care about this Liliana, but maybe I do. I don't think I do, right? I think it's Dralf's Messenger. This guy's just hard to deal with. How many... This is a vampire, oddly enough. Vampire. You're a zombie. You're a zombie knight? Oh, that's cool. You're a zombo. You're a zombo. Human wizard, specter, horror, vampire. We don't actually have that many zombies. I think I just want the duress for the sideboard. Oh, Belschnickel. I like Belschnickel a lot. Probably more than Massacre in the main deck, anyway. I would play a Belschnickel. I don't think we need to dismember. We have a lot of removal here. We have Fatal Push, Skin Render. We have Fatal Push, Ultimate Price, uh, Hero's Downfall. That's actually kind of it. Well, not including creatures. Noxious Gear Hulk. Skin Render's fine. Oh my god, we didn't get Grey Merchant, dude. This is ridiculous. 
I'm actually, I'm actually surprised. Wow, that's really sad. Someone else took a Grey Merchant. That's unbelievable to me. I could have taken Garrick Apex Predator, but we literally have zero fixing. And like, unless we're running one forest, it just doesn't seem great. I could see taking Find Finality out also because we do have Whip of Erebos, which I think is just better for us. Uh, probably want to take one of these three drops out, but maybe not. And Barrel Rites is okay, especially if the Godless Shrine comes back. Woodland Cemetery? Okay. <clears throat> Does give us a way to splash for Find. Oh, because it's 540 cards. Yeah, that's see, that's why I hate 540 card cubes. That's literally why. Because you 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 can draft archetypes, and then the cards for those archetypes might literally just be on the sideboard. That's just my personal preference. I'm not a big fan of it. Lingering Souls. Where my godless shrine at? Well, it's nowhere to be found. Alright, so this is 24. We need one more cut. I think our deck looks good. Uh, Unbarrow Rights, yeah, but I mean, like, what are we going to Unbarrow Rights that we wouldn't just pay full price for, right? Because, like, we only have two creatures that that cost more than the five for Unbarrow Rights, and we don't have the white to play Unbarrow Rights. Uncle Fish Dinner, happy two months, buddy. Really appreciate it. I have not, I did not pop, but uh, I appreciate it nonetheless. <clears throat> bum, bum, bum. I think maybe Scrap Heap Scrounger has a place in here. I'm not sure. You think Messenger's the cut? I think Shoulder's actually. No, wait. What are you saying right now? Shoulder's not in the deck, so I think we're good without Shoulder. I'd rather have Karn than Shoulder, and I don't want to have two seven drops here. We need one more cut. Erebos is definitely going to be, like, pretty turned on. Just a weird thing to say. Probably Bloodgast. I don't think Bloodgast is great here. It can't block. Eh. It's kind of mediocre. I mean, I guess same could be said about Scrap Heap Scrounger. Anyway. Anyway. I don't want to exile... The, the problem with Scrap Heap Scrounger is that I don't want to exile creatures from my graveyard because we have Whip of Erebos. And we have Isoret. So we have a lot of cards that take advantage of creatures being in our graveyard. So I don't really love having to exile them. <clears throat> and we'll keep this. This is not a great hand, but I don't think our deck is also a fast deck. <laughs> our deck got a lot faster. <laughs> All right, so next time we're going to discard Gear Hulk, and then we can whip it back at some point. I can't bits? Man, the thing didn't pop. You can't bits? What's going on right now? Uh, no block. I just want to rat you every day. Is Nightfell Spectre even good? Is it two? Yeah, because it turns on. It's still a 2 3 flyer for three, and it turns on Erebos. And you get to technically, kind of, in a roundabout way, draw cards from your opponent's deck. <clears throat> definitely doesn't have. It definitely. It's definitely good. Uh, this is actually fine. Okay, so I get to kill your Garrick and make another Radams. Let me discard land here. Get that Garrick out of my life. They just paid four mana to get rid of a rat, which is fine. It literally says my, my bits are no good here. What's going on? What happened? Twitch, why you do this? Uh 
Oh, I see. Well, now I just have to kill it. <clears throat> I wish I had a way to get rid of something. I could Hero's Downfall a thing. How all in are we going with these pack rats? Time to just kill this elf of deep shadow. I think that's actually fine. Oh, have no fear, bits inventory safe, the ability to cheer will return shortly. Okay, that's great. Yeah, that that just sounds like a twitch issue. A twitch you, if you will. All right, so you're going to careful consideration here. We're going to attack you for six, put you down to seven. This seems like the most obnoxious screen name to have because, like, if you had to, you have to just type it every day, right? So you have to be like, like, you have to remember how many there are. I guess once you remember, you remember, though. This is a little bit of an elf. I'm going to get rid of the Karn because I don't think there's any way we're actually going to uh, be playing Karn here. They get seven mana here, which means they could actually Cyclonic Rift, which is a little scary. Wow, the three barcode comments in a row. That's actually pretty funny. Oh, God, they're going to Cyclonic Rift. Although they could just wait until we... Eh, I guess that's fine. Wait, they're still dead. No, they're not. They get to block one rat and... Shout it, shout it, shout it out loud. Oh, they're at six. They're at six now, eh? Well, that was unfortunate because we had, we could have just made a rat there, I guess. Now I just feel bad. Keeping a rat tap down every rat tapping day. I think they're stabilizing here. No, sir. I don't like it. Well, we can actually just play Doomy Boy. <clears throat> and we have a good amount of... They're going to actually attack. We're going to... Uh, they're going to tap this guy down. And then we're going to scry for the correct answer. They have one card in hand. Okay. They also have enough guys to block our rats forever. And then kill us with Frost Titan. So that's obnoxious. I guess we can actually play this and discard whatever we draw to... Um, I think we just get rid of two. I think we just get rid of two rats here. This feels fine. Like they have one card in hand. What are the odds? It's a removal spell. Am I right? <laughs> what are the odds? It's a, it's a just rules. But what are the odds of that? <laughs> Uh, 
You're going to Court of Calling. You're going to Sphinx's Rev for six cards, keeping one mana up. Well, that's my hand. <clears throat> so everything, everything is all yours. You have seven cards to deal with my life. I guess you can just go Wrath of God, and then it's six to one, six to none. Shout it. Why do I have Shout It Out Loud stuck in my head? Why are any of these songs stuck in my head? All right, two blue. Starting with two blue. Mind control, Doom Whisper. Can you imagine Gary here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We just ate them. Go to twenty. Whiskers makes us all figures of magic token creature summers and bought one and got a rat token like it's barely bigger than the plastic holder for the base. Oh jeez. Bella doom 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 doom. Bella doom 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 doom. Boom 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 boom. Shut up and take my money. Remaker, love your content. I've been watching you since about since about a year, all the way from Switzerland. I'm currently in Colorado for an exchange semester at uni. Give the, awesome. That's great to hear, buddy. Instead of being like six hours ahead of me, you're now one or two hours behind me. I think two hours behind me. Thank you so much, dude. Really appreciate the support, and hope you're loving in Colorado. It's a pretty uh, it's a pretty good state. All right. Prime Evil Titan. It's all coming up Millhouse here. All right, well, they didn't attack us. They're down to nine cards in their deck. I don't know if I want to... I think we can do one. Messenger 6, 7, 8. This is 9, 10. Wow. 10 damage. Is that good? Hold on a second. The vacuum is stuck. It's it's like crying out to me. Give me one second, guys. Okay. It was totally not stuck anywhere. It was totally lying. You want a milkshake or something? Kurt, I am good, buddy. I am good. <laughs> I appreciate the offer, though. This is so sad, because I'm like... 6, 7... This is literally 10, and they're at 11. I can't... I 
I wish I had a way to sacrifice this guy. Do we have anything in our deck that can actually do more than that? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't think they can kill us. I'll just keep it. We'll see what we hit with these two these two guys. So we have two blockers. We can block here and here. We can take six, seven, eight, nine, go to one. Of course they have something. <sighs> Exhausting. Yeah, all right, we're done. <laughs> it's absolutely ridiculous. Oh, God. Anyway, definitely bringing in duress here. This mask worm seems insane. Bells and Lock can come out. I think Shoulder might be better than Karn in this deck. I don't know. I think those are fine, and we can just go to one extra. Yeah, if Messenger dealt three on ETB, it'd be, they'd be dead. But then they wouldn't be dead because they just play Riftwing Cloudscape, bounce the Doom Whisper, block the other dude, and then we're, we and then we did. I'll keep this hand. It's actually a nice curve if we can hit one more land on the play. This guy into this guy into any of these guys is great. Yeah, Sphinx's Rev there being their last card is pretty utterly insane. All right. Just need lands now. Here comes Riffling Cloudscape bouncing one of my lands. Yeah, they realized they didn't tap two. Yeah, they fucked up because they didn't actually add two blue. And they activated an ability of a land, so they can't actually. I guess they could just sit and slime it instead. Hilarious. Actually hilarious. Thank you. Otter from Space, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Uh, now they can just hit a land, go Riftwing Cloud Skate, and attack us with this guy, which seems pretty good. So I'm guessing we're playing Nighthawk, and then they just Riffling Cloud Skate away all of our issues. And our issue is being I don't know what I'm saying right now. This is what I'm just doing the thing. Uh, I'm just going to block because I don't want to take that. So they bounce a the land. Time warp. Sure. Ugh. I'm having a good time. And they were probably just time warping, not riffling cloud skating. Well, there's there's ten cards. Goodbye, cards. Mm-hmm. This elf is going to pay the ultimate price. Just kidding. Opponent has a counterspell that we didn't see at all in game one. 
JK. <laughs> oh, good times. Magic is a game of skill. I landed an elf and a sword, so I won my match. Okay, well, I guess that's a good reason to do it. I drew Sphinx's Revelation. All right, well, some of us had to, I guess. Tell me that there's lands here, yeah. This hand is amazing if we can hit a fourth land. Of course, it's going to be six drop, six drop Karn off the top, but... You know. What color are you going to name? Oh, black. Alright, we hit the land. Everything's coming up Millhouse. We can't lose this game, right? If I'm teaching me feel blue, maybe just trying to send you. What does that mean, though? What's a message? Tell me a thing that's good. Alright, this guy. And we'll pass. Who cares anything about modern cube anyway? Christmas time is vintage cube time. Yeah, you I'm looking forward to it as well. No joke, my dude. What, really? Hmm. I think they have a planeswalker, and they're like, I'm gonna play this before my planeswalker comes down. Joke's on you, I got a Frexian Obliterator. I don't know why that means the joke is on you, but God, we have so many black pips. Gary would be insane. Four, five, six, seven. We'd have nine. It'd be an eighteen point life swing, man. That's that's like a that's like an entire life total. And we get Obby next turn. What can go wrong? <laughs> this is a big issue a minute. Oh, we got a Thrag Tusk. I don't think you're blocking here, though, right? Like, that seems bad. Yeah, oh, you know what? You know what? I'm going to come at you, bro. What problem is? Oh yeah, there we go. So you take two instead of three. I get a bigger gentleman. Damn it, Obby. Oh, that's, see, look at that. Then you just drop this dude, kill this dude, and you basically dead.
I don't know where that went. Well, that's never going to be found again. Gone forever. Uh, so me and Mike are going to go to Sunny's tonight and get some food. And I usually get the all-you-can-eat chicken or turkey. And the funny thing is, I eat like one serving of the chicken or turkey. And then I'm like, can I just get more sides? So like if I could just go to... If I could just go to Sunny's and just get sides, I would do that all day. I'm always like, why don't you have a side option where I can just order sides? All I want is like mac and cheese and fries and broccoli and coleslaw and cornbread. Not cornbread, garlic bread. and That's all I want is the sides. Baked beans and I can eat around the, the meat and the baked beans like a weirdo. beans and cornbread how do you deal with this you mind control it you're gonna mind control it right now oh you got black sources you're sultai you're my sultai boy sultai friends every day oh they're gonna look at that clue mm -hmm. oh Buttery biscuits. Thank you. Rain loss. Thanks so much for the right resub. Welcome back. Never didn't have it. Me or them? I don't know. We have a lot of removal in our hand. Oh, that's a big beefy boy. Boom, 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 Uh, I think I'll use the ability. Seems like a promising decision on my end. I will attack with these two gentlemen. Gentlemans. 20 to 2. Seems good. I am going to begin sideboarding. I don't actually think I want to sideboard anything right now. We saw a Tusk, a Tireless Tracker, and that's kind of it. I think Shouldered might just be better in this deck than Karn. But I don't know. I don't know. It's hard to say. That being said, I'm having turkey burgers tonight. Well, there you go. I think turkey is also pretty overrated. At, no, maybe I don't. I think turkey as like a Thanksgiving entree is overrated, but I think turkey and like turkey sandwiches is pretty on point for me personally. My sous vide turkey is so, oh well, there you go, Thanos. I think you're I think you're too you're too you're too fancy and uh, otherworldly for this chat. I think that's just what it comes down to, sir. Just gotta chill. Turkey burglars? Oh, look at this hand. Look at this Demon Lord Bells and Lock 6. We can cast the Demon Lord Bells and Lock. Too fancy is correct, yes. I'm going to mulligan this hand. I'm going to keep this reluctantly. Because we have four, five, six, and we got a a little little thing here. <coughs> there it is. There's the once per stream sneeze. I don't know how that happens. It is. It's. It's. Uh, his name is Belschnickel, and then he decides whether you're impish or or admirable. Not to be confused with Nathan, that's Admirable Zamora, who frequents our, our stream on occasion. Can you frequent something on occasion? Hmm. That's a, that's a question for you. That hand did have a plan. I'm going to play all these lands, and then I'm going to play this, this Demon Lord Bells and Lock. Ugh, that's frustrating. 
Yeah. I'm not thrilled about it. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, boy. Good times. Oh, I could totally smell that sneeze coming. And every time I have to kind of sneeze, I look at the LED light that's right in front of me that illuminates my beautiful visage. And uh, and it helps me sneeze. You know, you know, there's that... that I think it's scientifically proven that if you look at the light when you sneeze, uh, it will, what do you call it? Like, uh, coax the sneeze out of you. Bits are back. Bits, but only once a, once a stream? There's only, they're only back for once? That seems pretty restrictive, actually. Okay, this guy's a big boy. This is actually good, because now we can skin render and kill the tireless tracker. I was afraid if they played a natural land. Did they miss a land drop? Yeah, they missed a land drop. Better make them count, Bits. Josh, thank you, buddy. Brian, thank you, buddy. You guys are awesome. Boom, 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 boom. Now I have beans and cornbread in my head, so I want to I wanna thank you all for getting that stuck in my head. I would take two lands. The Photic Sneeze Reflex, is that what it's called? They're going to be like, second main, I'm going to crack my... I'm going to crack my Sakura Tri-Builder. I'm going to... Let me rend them skins, boy. I think the bright lights causing the season only people whose nerves, sight, and season are close together. At least, that, well, I guess I'm one of them. It helps me every time. 101 bits. It's not a contest, but if it were, I win bits. Oh, Brian. Brian is definitely uh, competitive in nature. I feel like we're in. They have six cards, we have five cards. But we have two dudes on the board. Their total resources are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 12. And we have 4, 8, 9, 10. Okay. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. God, you and your beans and... Now it's war... Now it's war bits. <laughs> 105, now it's war bits. Oh, they didn't attack with this guy. So what you're saying... Is I could fatal push this and kill your... Your Noosa. That's what you're telling me right now? That's a good deal. That's a twofer. I will not use Icereth's ability. Can you guys can you guys not talk about my my nerves that are close together? Because that's really rude. It's really kind of rude to talk about other people's nerves that are close Shut together. Take my money. Here's five dollars. Get yourself some bits. Wait, I don't I don't want to buy my own bits though. Like I don't want to buy bits for myself. That seems counterproductive almost. I am not that competitive bits, but I am winning. <laughs> Oh god. You guys are actually the best. Actually, all like I don't even know why you're like I, I can't even Sometimes I even wonder if you're here to play magic. Like I don't think you guys care about the magic at all. I think it's just a, a place to hang out and throw some free bits at me. What 
What was that plane circle called? Nissan. Yeah, Nissan. Liam Nissan. Make it rain. I'm about to bust. Maelstrom pulse on the Isereth. You got it. I'm actually just gonna play this because this can kill larger things. So if they play like Primeval Titan, I'd rather have the Noxious Gearhulk in the queue. So we know they're drawing a swamp, which is nice. Oh my god, I can't I'm here for the emotes. Yeah, same. You and me both. We are the best, but I am just a little bit more than the best the best than Josh Vicks. <laughs> uh, this I I have a very particular set of skills. I'm gonna come over and I'm gonna find you. And I'm gonna untap my land and I'm gonna attack you for four. That's what Liam Nissa does. I come for your sweet, lovely voice. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. I just do it for you. Frank missed my nostalgic recollection on a great TV show from my childhood. Oh my god, let me go look. Oh, Pete and Pete was excellent, man. It's rather strange. Yeah, Pete and Pete was amazing. Oh, a gilded lotus. You know what? Somehow I don't I don't think mana is your issue here, sir. I don't think mana is the problem that's Oh god Oh god, what is it? Assassin's Trophy. Dang. Dang. They have one card in hand? Alright, well, I'll deal with it. What's happening right now? You guys are ridiculous. All of my remaining bits bit. <laughs> oh, man. James, monocolor decks in this cube seem really, really easy to... Uh... Yeah, it is Polaris. It's a Polaris song. Uh, which is funny because if anybody in the chat can name another Polaris song without Googling it, I will give you a dollar. I don't actually have a way to give you a dollar because I know you can't do it. E-Witness getting back Maelstrom Pulse, killing my rats is pretty impressive. I think that would be the play I would make personally. That is, you you did it. You did it correct. Well, I love that my stream is just filled with random. 348 bits, 125 bits, 115 bits, 115 bits, 25 bits, 110 bits, 105 bits, 101 bits, 300 bits. That is, uh, it's actually pretty impressive, I'm going to be honest. The bit cup do overfloweth. I got bits for days. <laughs> oh, man. I have no idea whether you Googled that or not. I'm going to be honest with you. Thank you. I make dance. Welcome back. Nine months in a row. I hope our, our sub baby is beautiful and healthy. And I hope it takes after its mother. I was hoping it wouldn't be a land, but here we are. You have zero cards in hand, and this is a two-turn clock if I play this guy. I'm going to play this guy. I'm going to gain one whole life point. One whole hit point, as we say in the RPG world. Thank you. Efish, thank you so much for the three months in there. What, are the, what, what the bits is going on in this? Well, basically that. I will use this ability. I like using abilities. I'm an ability-using man. All right, so now you have to deal with at least one of these. 
but then you're on one turn clock, so you have to have back back to back answers. I assume you're just gonna draw Thrag Tusk, uh, which is gonna make my life a lot harder. So, rampant growth, dead. I didn't Google it. I looked on Spotify. <laughs> oh, fantastic. I'm a fan. Oh, they have a Quagmire, though. Giggity. We're just tagging with this guy. I, I don't know why. It doesn't matter. Noxious Girl just finished the job. I think they're going to forget that it has Menace. They did not, and we won the match. I'm looking at the leader right in Ah, yeah, 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 it's Sunday. Don't you tell I'm back. I didn't, I didn't Google it. I looked on Spotify. Wow, I really should have specified. Uh, I'm going to deal with this hand. I got a two drop and a three drop and another three drop. Oh, I'm about to bust. I'm about to bust. Ritz bits are my favorite crackers, just saying. So... I was actually in my head, I was like, what about Nutter Butters? But then I'm like, I guess those are cookies. And then I was like, what's interesting, a crack on a cookie? I guess it's just savory versus sweet. So. Ritz Bits are pretty all right. I think as far as crackers go, those are pretty all right. <whistles> Nutter Butters are top tier, and it's literally just because of the peanut butter. If I could just buy Nutter Butter peanut butter, I, I would. That was a great draw because we needed it. And now we have two turns to hit a fourth land. I think, yeah, Nutter Butters are totally underrated. And I think the reason is just marketing. Like, they don't market the same way as Keebler or Chips Ahoy or anything else. They're just kind of like, they're kind of like peanut butter Oreos, right? Or peanut butter Chips Ahoy. They're like, Chips Ahoy is the chocolate chip cookie cutter brand. Oreo is the, no, oh, that's probably better here. Oreo is the, the cream filled cookie, the default cream filled cookie. And Nutter Butters would be like the default peanut butter cookie. But like, are you going to kill this? Oh, oh, that's great. Prevent your scry. That's that's a game I'm on board for, it, boy. <laughs> oh boy. What are Reese's cups then? Delicious. Oh, what even question? What even question is that? Unfrosted cuppy cakes? Ugh, frosting is literally my favorite part of cupcakes. All right, so we're drawing all the lands here, which is super good. Not to be confused with Super Bad, which is a movie by Seth Rogen and uh, Evan Goal. What's his name? I can't think of his name. Evan Goldberg. Nailed it. Never didn't know it. Oh, wow, that just resolved immediately. Oh, Brian knew it. Oh, that's gas, dude. Yeah, Seth Rogen and Evan Goldberg. Fantastic. Not to be confused uh, with Michael Sarah and uh, Jonah Hill, who are also actors. In a, in a... I'm just going to windmill slam this guy, because you didn't have a counterspell last time. You're probably going to have one this time, because why wouldn't you? But I want to be able to attack with Erebos. And I like having two three drops that I can play next turn if I draw a land. So. Well, that's interesting. 
I'm gonna come at you for eight and put you to six. Are you just? Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. I feel like I need the Mickey Mouse saying "Oh boy" on the soundboard. Oh boy. Oh, I love time warping and nothing. You're like, oh, time warp here. Maybe I'll hit something. I'm really just playing five mana to draw a card and untap my lands. Oh, get a load of the radiation purists in the chat. Well, I don't like adding radiation to my candy. <laughs> Whatever, buddy. You'd never survive in the wasteland. Boom. 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 I was like, oh, so they're literally the same thing. Okay, cool. <laughs> Alternatively, you can take some Rad-X before you eat the muffin, and then you're just in good shape. Sort of Worm Piece could be good, because they have red red dudes, red burns. Red burns. Smithers. Have those Rolling Stones killed. Ah, uh, sorry, there's one out there. Do it! <laughs> Actually, I live in a wasteland. <laughs> I don't want to set the world on fire. I don't want to set the world on fire. I just want to light a flame in your heart. I just want to start a flame in your heart. In my dreams I have but one desire. I'll keep this hand. I don't like eating shrimp that have tails, period. So if you serve me a shrimp that had a tail at one point, not even about it. Apparently the Ramones lead singer was a huge Simpsons fan and kept showing up to the Simpsons office even after the episode was over. <laughs> That's hilarious, dude. Oh, Joey Ramone. Rest in peace, buddy. You are classy. Is it sig Signario? One thing I would rather, I wish we had was a nice, uh, a nice two drop here. We need a nice little two drop. Is this game, is this round three? We're like, yeah, we're, we're one, one, right? God, every time I hear the ink spots, all I want to do is play Fallout. And not Fallout 76, unfortunately. I cannot, like... Oh, man, I can't bring myself to do it. God, I love Bethesda more than anything, and I love I love Fallout. It's my favorite, like, literal favorite game franchise of all time. And I just... I think they really dropped the ball with 76, and it makes me sad. I mean, it's a game... To be fair, it's a game that could potentially uh, get better over the course of time, right? Thank you. Uh, Ryperk, thanks so much for the sub. I really appreciate it. Welcome back, buddy. 
the old four month skadoosh, as it as it were. Oh, do you think the next level have legendary duelings? No, no way. Only because like, that's a lot, dude. I don't think any set's ever gonna have legendary dual lands. I don't think they're ever gonna reprint like Taiga, like Taiga, but as a legendary land. Because you could literally just put two in your deck, two of each, and then you have dual lands, you know, and then like modern just becomes broken. You're never gonna want to play that standard format. That's an I like the idea though. That's a great idea. It's an elegant idea. I don't think it's it's something you want to really have though. So next time we can skin render kill this guy and keep up fatal push for this guy, which seems pretty good. Jesus. <laughs> wow, Mike just creeped right on in, dude, and scared the crap out of me, man. What? Didn't hear him? I didn't hear you at all. You could have been like, you could have scared me like I did you, actually. I think I did. Well, yeah, but you could have screamed and been like, hey, what's up, coming to the And I would have been like, oh, and then his stealth. Yeah, his he puts a lot of points in stealth. I do. Yeah. I always, I always perk up the ninjas. You perk up the ninjas? Yeah, perk up the ninjas. That sounds like something completely different. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I put perk points into ninja. Hey, Is man, what are you doing tonight? I gotta go perk up the ninjas, if you know what I mean. <laughs> what if they put them in a conspiracy? Oh, uh, that's actually a probably a more likely thing. If they were going to do something like that, they'd probably do it in a secondary set, like a, a supplemental set. Yeah, they're going to have a, a, a cycle of temples that all have surveil. Hey, man, you know how much we had to do this coffee? I have no idea what you just said. It sounded like, hey, man, you know how much we had to do this coffee? And you, I think I understand. Do you know how much I paid for this coffee? I'm imagining it was free, and that's why you're bringing it up. Yeah, boy! <laughs> I didn't even know I had the rewards. And I opened the app, and I was like, oh, nice. What do you got there? This is a venti white chocolate mocha. Oh, man, you got to get the peppermint. I get that PHC. That's the peppermint hot cha-cha. For Do those they have a peppermint know? mocha? Is that a thing? Yeah, bro. Oh. They just add coffee to the peppermint white chocolate. Or the peppermint hot chocolate. I could have got a peppermint white chocolate mocha. It would have been free, too. You could have. You should have been like, how many syrups you got back I there? I was going to get a banana coffee. Add all of them. But their blender was broken, so I couldn't do that. What, what do you mean a banana coffee? You know when you take a banana and you blend it into your coffee? Not a frappuccino, a coffee? No, a frappuccino, sorry. Oh, yeah. that's okay. Because I thought you were going to be like, let me get a cold brew and blend a banana into it. I would have been like... That'd be that'd be pretty chunky. You've I gone think. too far. Come on, activate the tar pit. Just do it. Just activate it. Stop being like this and just attack. I was nervous because when I got my hair cut, it was a new guy. But he did good. Oh, I hate the new guy. Oh, it's looking all right. Yeah. Yeah. Just activate it and come at me, bro. When I say new, he's just new to that shop. He has like 10 years experience, so he's not really He's like new. he's a new barber. He just started yesterday. You're my first haircut. I'd be like, mm, I'm good, thanks. I'll see you later. Not a fan of the peppermint? What? Yeah, James, you gotta go. I'm sorry. We've had a good run, buddy, but it's... We've just... We've come to an end. Because we have both Karn and Heroes Downfall, I have no problem killing this Pilgrim's Eye with a skin render just to get more bodies on the board. Get the bodies on the... Bober Dad in the house. Mike, are you going full SWE then with a banana pizza? No, I would never eat banana on pizza. That's gross. It's gross. It is gross. So it's Fruit pineapple. doesn't belong on pizza, okay? That's just... Correct. Fruit does not belong on pizza. Unless it's a dessert pizza. Unless you're being a, a weirdo category. and you're calling a tomato a fruit, in which case... Oh, is this what you're going to do? Really enough, I actually like t raw tomatoes on a pizza, in a weird way. I guess you got me. Raw? I don't like. Yeah, no, not me. I'm out. Sun dreads are better though. Let me get that land for that carn. It's the first time I've ever wanted a land from a from the top of my deck when I had six lands in play. See you later, Jace boy. So long. I like dill pickle pickle on pizza. You heard it here, folks. Dill pickles. <laughs> You know, I've never had pickle on pizza, so I don't want to judge. I, I will. I haven't had pineapple on pizza. Still judging. I don't need to taste it to know that, like, what about those, a what about a nice profile. What about a nice garlic pickle? No. It's still sure? a pickle. Yeah, man. You know what? I'd I'm be willing get to you. try it. Okay, so, the, so this is the, there's a new chat goal now where you guys have to one day, not today, order Mike a pickle pizza. 
and we can we can have him eat it on stream. I'll I'll even try it on stream, and then we can uh, we can see. What we about can... kettle corn jalapeno chips on pizza? Oh, I might like that. That doesn't sound terrible. I'm drinking peppermint mocha coffee as we speak. That's a so oh, you took my thing. Oh, that's unfortunate. Star player excels a card from their hand. I'll choose you. We're going to restart this game, boy. In response, I'll crack my uh, scalding tear. I do like banana peppers on pizza. I do like banana peppers on pizza. My name is Michael. I had pickle on my pizza five minutes ago. Okay, we're not getting pickle pineapple pizza. That's disgusting. No, you've gone too far. Also, James, I just need you to stop. This is a big-ass car, and I don't even know how you deal with this. They don't. Boom, 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 boom. And now he's alive. He has come to life. I don't even have to draw any cards. I ain't going to six against the red deck. They're just going to top deck Banefire here and blow me out. I could restart the game. We'd get a Jace, but I mean, like, I feel like we give them a lot of uh, opportunity to win here. I think the best play... <laughs> I think I have to restart the game now. But you could just win the game. Yeah, but restarting is more fun. Like, he's literally at three. Huh. And you only start with a Jace. Like, if you had a Jace and a couple lands, maybe. Yeah, but alternatively, mm -hmm. we could restart the game. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? You could. I don't know why you would, but you could. I mean, they have no cards in hand. They're not going to have an answer. Hmm. I'm thinking, come on. <laughs> oh, man. Do it for the lulls? Yeah, I'm told, yeah, I'd totally be doing it for the lulls. Because there's no way it's the right play. What if you, like, solely exile all your permits and then do it? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have a good time. We're having a good time here. <laughs> Everybody win. I'll keep this hand. Where's your Jace? It'll, it's coming. Look at that. Look at his little cute face. Oh, and we get to play first? This is great. I'm going to duress you. Because it might keep our Jace alive for a longer period of time. Oh, we got Sinister Sabotage. Oh, we can get this Flame Slash. This hand is actually great. Uh, yeah, I'm Del Blue... Yeah, we'll just take Flame Slash. We get an activation off of Jace. Wait, does Jace have haste? Oh, that's nice. Why does he have haste? I guess because he starts the you start the game with it in play. So if a creature is in play since the beginning of your turn, it doesn't have summoning sickness. Oh, that's gas. So we activate now, we activate later, that's three cards. We can get Hex Mage in the graveyard. I don't think we can actually get... I don't think we can flip Jace before the Dread War, but Dread War also just... Uh... So, Swamp is gone. Uh, get rid of you. J Dread War also just kills Planeswalker anyway, so it's not super relevant. A Hex Magio. Man, what a, ro what a roller coaster this is. I'm going to flip him anyway. Flip in that Jace. Oh, actually, hold on. Yeah, hold on, hold on. Return of the Battlefield its owner's control. Yeah, we don't want to flip Jace. That is not ideal. Oh. Yeah. That's what's known as bad juju. Do you have to flip him, or is it like a May? You're a May. Wow. Yes, you have to flip him. 
it's always funny because there's there's multiple versions of of transform cards. Whereas like all the planeswalkers, when they change into a different creature, a different card type, which is planeswalker, they exile themselves and then they come back as the new thing. That's where other flip cards just flip. Yeah, like Huntmaster is the same card; it just turns into a different car- creature, a car creature. I want to play this because they're going to dreadbore it, but then I want to play Icerath after. I want Icerath to survive so that we can get back the Spectre anyway. Well, that's just rude. Quick, remove all the counters from it. I can't believe you have done this. Yes, you can. If you've been watching my stream for as long as you have and you can't believe I've done this, then you've learned nothing. We're totally going to lose this game. You're like the Jon Snow of... Of watching my streams. I like the cut of your jib. Next draft is on me. Brian, thank you so much, buddy. Appreciate it. I'm glad we restarted the game here. Oh, a little pilgrim's eye. Poke yourself in it. Hey, buddy. You want to see my pilgrim's eye? If you know what I mean. Do you have one? No. Boy, this is awkward. Are you done with this already? No. Oh, there's a good amount in there. It's a good. It's got a good. It's good. It's got a good aroma. It's my favorite drink. That's my favorite drink. Or rather, I should say my favorite latte. Boom, 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 boom. I think they play the island. So now they are. They think a second, and a second island with sinister sabotage at hand, which is interesting to me. One. I mean, I'm on board with keeping all these cards in my hand. I guess they actually they have two more removal spells, which is pretty sad. Although big boat comes down, if they play cheaps, we get big boat. I think they're big play. boat. So woat. So woat. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna make it in the way. So we actually can't activate Jace anymore if we don't do it now. <coughs> I'm going to do it now. Assume there's a land on top. There always is. That's not a land at all. I'd rather keep Karn. Restart would... the game again. I'm going to go to Hero's Downfall because I don't think you have anything for it. You played Choops. This is basically your hand. Um, you, could, you could flip Jace and send a message. Yeah, then I can kill it with Downfall. I'll be like, hey, here's your Jace back. Kill it. I think Sky Sovereign's actually going to be pretty alright here. Woot woot! That's the, that's the sound of the boat. I know what it was. I think this is still their hand. I think they had two mountains in their opening and they got one from Pilgrim's Eye. And then they had Sinister and Dreadbore. So I think we still know their whole hand. They drew a Magma Jet, they drew a Pilgrim's Eye, and they drew a Swamp. Do you hear that little dumpling out there? No, oh, I hear dumpling? I mean, it's still pretty little. How dare you. He's still little. Oh, Michael. Oh, yeah, you're taking two more? Oh, and you played another island? All right, so now I still know these cards. But how do... Wait, how does that work, then? Hmm. I think maybe it's only one mountain... And these, well, I definitely know you have these three because you got a second mountain from this guy. I like that we can play Reaper and actually put the, uh, get that boat. Boat, boat online. Boat online is right. How big is the boat? Uh, 6'5. Pretty big boat. It's a big boy. Is that creature and opponent controls? Yeah, that's so weird. Like, Magic has, has done this thing in the past few years where, like, a lot of your removal spells only target things your opponents control. And I guess it's so, like, if they ended up getting rid of this, you wouldn't have to target your own thing. But it still feels... It's it's still narrow. 
it's interesting because you're denying like if a player knows about that trick like hey if i can if you see the line of getting rid of your own guy to get your opponent to kill one of their own things which are admittedly powerful creature of course because it's killing a thing i think that's fine because it's rewarding a, a strategically a strategically solid play however like you're also narrowing the the ability even further by not allowing you to kill your own things if you need to like if i just want to get this guy off the board because it'll kill me I would just rather be able to do that, you know? You should flip his Jason and turn. I should? Yeah, give back to him. Why, why, why would I do that? They're at four again? It's activate Jason one more time. <laughs> Too much to ask. I think actually cause, because they're at four, I might do that. That's actually pretty hilarious. They have to dread bore this guy, right? Like, we know three of... Actually, they played Mountains, so we know... Yeah. Okay. That's not what we wanted. That's not something that props can fix. That's gonna be a little harder to fix. I really don't want to do it now, because we don't have the win on board. That's not it. Yikes. I mean, we could actually activate it and give it back to him. We could activate it and give it back to him, if we think there's a creature on the top. That doesn't seem worth the risk. They are. They do have sinister sub sabotage. Sabotage. As uh, as, as Sipitao and the tippy tay. Oh, that's a nice pooty tie. Pooty tie. Pooty tang. Pooty tang. There you go. There you go. Nailed it. Man, where are all their cards? If they tap out for anything, we're just gonna we're gonna play Karn again. Well cut gyps all around. Wouldn't expand your market and have to cater to lower intelligence. Ah, uh, I don't think that's true. That's just a hyper negative thing to say. The old hyper neg? Hype hypes negs. It's Pootie Tang, isn't it? That's the name of the name? Mm hmm That's the name of the movie? Yeah. The name of the name. I believe Louis C.K. had a big hand in that movie. That's, not, that's awkward. You think that guy ever go back on tour? I don't know. At least CK is a weird example of that whole thing. It's hard to think of Louis CK without cringing now. It's just really awkward because it's such a weird thing to do. It is, and like, like I don't, like, I don't want to, I don't want to have sex with you. I just want to be off in front of you. <laughs> Oh, it's like very, it's a very specific um, kink, I guess that we you'd call it. It's also yeah, I don't want to. Mike, this is not a good topic. I I I agree. I agree wholeheartedly. I'm gonna kill this guy, and then your Lily's gonna flip. No, she ain't because it's non-token. This is so many games that we played. Now you can give them their jokes back. Here you go. It's all yours. I also have vampire. I could just vampire hex mage it as well. Mike, please go on. Mike, please don't go on. You win the match with this game makes me wonder in my heart. Same. <laughs> Our hearts are overflowing. I am going to attack your face. And I'm going to do a little toot toot on this guy. Whoa, whoa. The only thing that separated King from Violation is one conversation that didn't. Yeah, that's. Two one with the mono black deck, even though we didn't see a gray merchant. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check out the bell down below and you can get notifications whenever I go live. And also, if you want to support me other than YouTube, you can check out Twitch, Patreon, and MeUndies.com slash Frank Laporte. All the links are in the description below. At MeUndies, you will get 15% off free returns, free shipping, and uh, super soft micromodal under and over garments, onesies, tees, socks, lounge pants, what have you. Helps you, helps me. And maybe you need those things anyway, so... Smash all those buttons. Smash them all. Just go down there and click them all. Just click everything you can... Uh, just have a field day.
and thank you guys for the support. I will see you next time.